action. Hello, welcome to my greenhouse and today we're going to venture out into the garden to plant up some primroses. What we're going to do is actually pot them up. But I'm going to show you two different methods of potting up. Uh, one will be we're building the compost up and the other will be where we're actually planting them in, which would be exactly the same as if you were planting them into a bed or an existing pot that had items in it. Before we get out there, we just need to tidy these up a little bit. And this is great because I get to show you essentially what the aftercare is on a primrose. So these I got for a great deal, two pounds for a pack like that. And I've had these just sitting in their tray, just sort of outside for about a week now. Uh, just really, because I had them in a slightly sheltered spot just to hard, make sure they were properly hardened off because they'd come from a, uh, a garden centre. So I'm actually going to make it easier with these because these are quite large plants. I've just popped them out of their tray. So you can see with these, all you do is you just push from the bottom and carefully, I just like to slide my fingers in with these, carefully tease it out, okay? So with the first one, we're going to get our little snips. So I've just got some little snips there. You can use scissors, you can use your larger pair of snips, whatever you've got. Uh, I'm going to remove any rotten or dying leaves first. So I'll just bring that there and as you can see, just cut that away at the base. You could, uh, like with this one, if you've got some fingernails, just go in and pinch it away. Now make sure you capture all these sort of rotting leaves into a pot or something, just so that you can put them into the compost. Right, so the leaf there that snapped. The next thing is once you're happy that you have removed any rotting or tatty leaves is to look at the flowers. Again, I'm doing this with the roots all exposed here. I wouldn't normally recommend this, but because I'm in a nice bubble wrapped greenhouse, I can get away with this. So I'm looking here at any spent flowers or dying flowers. So I removed those first and it's exactly the same. So I've got my spent flower there. I've bent it over. I find it's just easier. Go in at the base and just snip it away there. And again, pop it with my leaves for composting. And then I'll go through and I'll see, well, yes, there's, there's a flower here but actually that's pretty much finished now. So I'm going to take that one away as well. When you're taking these flowers away, if you have got nails, it often works better than snips because you can follow your way into, down into a dense cluster and just pinch it out. Okay. And now I'm left with those. One bloom that is pretty much as I would like it some more blooms coming out and lots and lots of flower bud there. Now, one thing I've noticed as I've been working my way around is that I've actually got one more leaf that's a bit tatty. So I'm going to cut that back and that's great as well because that creates a bit more of a open plant. Sometimes primroses, they naturally want to cluster up really deeply and have overlapping leaves, but it, it works well in a way because those leaves quite often funnel the water down into the base of the plant. But the only problem with that is, is that they can tend to sit on each other and start to rot. So I like to have a nice airy plant because they are prone to molds and mildews as well. So that's the plant as I would like it. So that's ready to be planted up. I'll put that to a side and I'll stick that back in the tray in a moment. I'm just gonna do the others quickly and then we'll get out and we'll plant them. So I've tied up all the leaves, removed all the, the junky leaves and flowers. I've got two trays worth here that I'm going to plant up. 
Just need a quick hat change because I'm going outside. So what you might be able to see is that the level in this front pot here is a little bit lower and it's higher in the back pot there. And that's because I'm going to show you the building up technique here, the potting up and then the planting in technique in that one. What I've actually done with these is I've uh, essentially made sure I've got good drainage holes in the bottom, put some broken bits of pots to cover the holes. Then I've built up the level. Six inches from the top, I've planted some tulip bulbs because I had some late tulip bulbs. And then I've put some wire mesh in. That's to stop the squirrels digging up the tulip bulbs. And then I've put a bit more compost and now I'm gonna put this plant up this front one. So again, just like I got them out before, squeezing them out, you can place them in. So as you can see, I've put all six plants in. Normally I like to plant in odd numbers, like fives, but as you can see, it sort of fills the whole space so you don't really notice, the, notice it uh, by the eye there. Now all I've got to do is when I'm happy with how they're spaced, I just fill in in amongst. So I've got some some more of my peat-free multi-purpose here. So what I'm doing is I'm just <sighs> filling in the gaps in between and barely putting a dusting on top of the root ball of the primroses. So when I say root ball what I mean is that this top level here, I don't really want to exceed it by any more than a slight dusting because then there's a danger of rotting off all these lovely leaves and, and shoots, uh, flower, flower buds. And all I'm doing is very gently firming around as I go. And that's it. I could water it in, but the compost is moist, so I don't need to do that, especially as it's cold tonight. But I just need to keep an eye on the watering level, and I need to uh, just pick over these flowers and these leaves as they start to go over. And that's my lovely primrose pot. Now, planting in. Okay, so with these pots, I'm always looking to have them, like you saw with the last one, have the compost level come to just below the pot, maybe half an inch below, something like that. Uh, just so that when you water them or it rains, the compost doesn't wash out over the top of the pot. Now this one's full pretty much to the top, as you can see, just sort of half an inch, maybe an inch below the surface. And I'm just gonna plant into these like I would plant into the ground or if I had other things in this pot. So I've just got a good planting trowel there. And all I'm gonna do is I like to go like that, like that, if I'm planting near an edge, and then I'm just firming the compost around. Now this is my rogue one. Uh, this primrose is actually not the same variety as the others, but I'm gonna pop it in because actually it sort of does blend in. Another one here. So again, I'm popping that and then pop in there. Pop that in. I can firm that into the place I want it. And what you'll find is that the compost does fluff up a bit as you plant these. So you definitely don't want to be uh, too high with your, with your compost that you're planting into, or you may have to remove a little bit when you're doing it. Okay, let's do the centre one now. And of course, when you're planting all of one type of plant, don't worry too much if you've got them a bit close together because you can always dig one out and just try again. So you do like that. There we go. And as you can see, it's a bit messier than the building up method. 
if you've got any low spots once you've planted up you just obviously take some compost and just build it up a tiny bit there we go if you've got plastic trays like these or even polystyrene ones that are still intact the best thing to do with these is see whether you can recycle them as far as uh, wash them really well and if they can recycle but most of the time with these they won't so the best thing and I love these because you'd pay good money for something like this as a product just clean these out and then you can use them for sowing seeds into. The only thing left to do now is pop a label in it and I've got a label there which is got the tulips that I've got underneath which is tulip Darwin mixed that's tulip Darwin mixed and then there it's got the uh, primrose that it is, and it's primrose bicolour. It's primrose bicolour. And what I don't like to do is stick it in the middle like that because I think they look very ugly, particularly these plastic ones, which someone gave me very kind. So what I do is I just tuck them in the edge there so they can't really be seen, but I know where to look for them and hike them out if anyone asks me what variety they are or I want to remind myself what variety they are because chances are in May when the tulips come up, I've got no chance of remembering. Now I'm just going to move these round to the front garden. Obviously I can lift these so I'll be okay, but I may well use the wheelbarrow to get them uh, most of the way there. The best thing to do would be to plant them where you're going to actually have them because then you don't have to worry about any lifting. Uh, that would be my best tip. Cut. <laughs> 